safety equipment check. Now going through the last minute uh, chat with the head ref of the bout. My name is John Maddening. I am joined by the lovely and talented Big Paparazzi. And uh, as we about to go here, we'd like to uh, introduce these two teams running through their uh, rosters here. First up, Finland. Number one, only. Number three, Udre. Number eight, Pink Spanker. Number nine, Misty Muffdiva. Number 10, Catastrophe. Catastrophe, sorry, pardon me. Number 22, Juicy Butter. Number 54, The Blizzard. Number 85, Bloody Ho Mary. Number 94, Trixie Grandbang. Number 96, Liz Troublegum. Number 99, Suvi Hokkari. Number 121, Lisa Sari. Uh, number 404, Doris. Number 2997, Estragina Davis. Bench coaching will be Tigre Force. And as for Ireland, we have number 16, Phantom Gemerald. Number 21, Wiley Peyote. Number 24, Russian Baron. Number 27, Sinister Mary Clarence. Number 37, Kitty Cadaver. Number 67, Zola Blood. Number 69, Pippi Strongstocking. Number 619, Holly Sheet. Number 1000, Canadian Psycho. Number, uh, let's say, love, because it's a nice heart. Jessica Ramit. 5x5 five five is Bad Faith. LG50, Chemical Hazard. Number N17, Rasheen Roulette. Uh, R66, six, six is Crow Jane. Coached by Violent Bob and Dirty Knees Louise. And we're getting ready to get started here. The equipment checks are set and the girls are sitting on the benches. Referees are taking their spots. The scoreboard has 30 minutes on it. For those of you who are watching earlier, the bouts were 20 minutes apiece in each period. 40 minutes total. Now we're moving on to the 30 minute periods. Yeah, you know, the uh, France just took on Brazil earlier today, and it was kind of a blow up in France's favor, of course, but they're playing each other right now again. However, it can be a completely different game with 30 minute periods rather than 20 minute periods. So if maybe Brazil right now, I, I don't know what's going on, on the other track, but if they're able to really uh, drag down France, kind of. We are about to start here on the first jam. Jamming for Finland, number 94, Trixie Grandbag. And she's going up against number 16, Phantom Gemerald for Ireland. Ireland in the shiny green, Finland in the shiny silver and blue. Emerald, actually very easy to see, very tall, towering over the rest of the players. Trying to get through around the inside, it takes a bit of a tumble there. Gets right back up and reaches at the back. Very knockdown drag out here, a lot of falling, climbing over each other. But in the end, that is number 94, Trixie Grandbank from the Helsinki Roller Derby. Who is your lead jammer? And is now about to enter on her scoring pass. Gemerald also has made it through and is about to enter on her first scoring pass, but not before Ireland calls it off. Two points up for Ireland. Finland, pardon me. Two points up for Finland. Now lining up for filling number 10, Catastrophe. And coming out for Ireland, number 67, Zola Blood. Right away, quick start of the jammers. Jammers are off almost immediately. And Finland takes it. Finland with the lead, jammer status number 10. Catastrophe. Not what Ireland wanted to see. Zola Blood Jammer for Ireland. 
heading to the penalty box for a minute of regulation time. And Catastrophe calls it off. They're going to start off with a clean power jam here. So the score after two jams, we have Finland at seven, Ireland at zero. Udre coming out for Finland, number three. Jogging position here with no one but herself. In the back trying to get around the outside, steps out, steps back in. Ireland immediately got to the jammer line and took up the four woman wall right in front of it. So far, completely effective. Excellent little rugby scrum action here. Very much like what we saw at the, the big five tournaments this summer. Takes it, but it took a good 30 seconds to get through. So Ireland did a good job of holding her back and eating up that penalty minute. She's got another about 20 seconds remaining before Ireland's jammer returns. Quick down low to the outside, comes around the front, finds a three-woman wall waiting for her, now joined through some recycling to make it four. It through, calls it off. And Zola is standing, so she has just less than 10 seconds remaining of her penalty. And at that point, it looks like we'll have a clear box. Looks like she signaled two seconds to her bench, but. Trixie Ganbang gearing up here for her second jamming appearance for Finland. Finland, of course, in the blue and silver, Ireland in the green. Right now, your score, Finland up by 12. Ireland not on the board just yet. Just over 26 minutes left in this first half. And Zola returns and cuts through and gets Lee Jammer out of the box and into your hearts, ladies and gentlemen. That is Zola. That was literally a hop, skip, and a jump to lead jammer position. Oh, and oh, goodness gracious, we have actually gone into the camera. <laughs> that was pretty spectacular. We had a, about a four skaters plus a ref run right into our turn four camera here, right in front of our table. So I hope you saw, I hope you saw it at home. It was pretty spectacular. Jessica Ramit coming back out for Ireland. Number three on the sleeve, but Hart on the back of the jersey. She's up against number 22 for Finland. Juicy. Juicy Butter. You just wanted to make me say that, right? Butter. I know. Jessica Ramit looks like she's taking a quick outside, but finds a wall waiting for her. Knocks that wall down to one, makes the one none. Lead jammer for Ireland. And Jessica, during the opening ceremonies a few hours ago, Jessica was doing some fine Irish step dancing during the Irish National Anthem. Cuts through for the Grand Slam. Five big roller derby points for Ireland. That's going to bring them up to 15, and they're going to take the first lead. Or perhaps I misspoke, and Ireland is at 10. Pardon me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just very excited. <laughs> Speaking of 10, number 10, Catastrophe coming out for Finland. Up against number 16, Phantom Gemerald. Gemerald trying to claw her way through there. Getting a little bit of trouble there with the three wall up in front, getting just kind of wedged in. But she takes it. Phantom General Ireland, Lee Gemerald. Gemerald now approaching the pack, but Ireland in the back. 
Calls it off before the other jammer can score. 0-0 zero, zero, that one. I'd say there's some disagreement about that from the uh, Ireland bench. Multiple people holding up two fingers, thinking they had two, including their bench coach, Violent Bob, but he's actually a pretty happy-go-lucky kind of guy. Zola once again up here for Ireland, going up against number 94, Trixie Grandbang for Finland. And it looks like Zola has been sent to the box, so this is going to be a Finland, a Finland power jam. Ireland noticing this and doing a good job of holding her back, turning to a fully defensive play style here. Took 40 seconds for her to get through. A minute 20 left to score in this jam. Oh, just stopped her. She was going at a pretty good clip and then just brought her to a halt immediately. Tennis from Mary Clarence coming out of the box, who rejoined her Ireland teammates. Had some great blocking action there. But Trixie calls it off, and that's the end of that jam. All right, next up for Finland, number three, Udre. I hope the fine folks in the great country of Finland will forgive me if I mispronounce that name. Single jammer on the track finds that wall of Irish waiting for it right at the beginning of the pack. Zola standing for Ireland in the Ireland box. She decides to actually just seems to wait for the pack to come around. She's not skating to meet it on either side. Oh, there she goes. Re-enters the pack at the back. Tangles up with number 404. That's Doris. Who takes a tumble. Skip Apex jump there by number three, Udre. To end that jam. Picks up a couple more points, calls it off, picks up four on that last pass. And that brings Finland to 26, Ireland still at 10. 20 minutes, eight seconds remaining in this first half. Lining up on the jammer line for Ireland, Jessica Ramit. She's gonna go toe to toe, face to face, skate to skate with number 10 of Finland, Catastrophe. Ten seconds into this jam, yet no one is moving. Bloody Ho Mary for Team Finland. She's really the one to watch here in the red helmet up at the front. Her eyes darting back and forth amongst the rest of those Ireland. And the chance of skate, skate, skate have started here in the bunker. A couple of them dropped to the knee, and they are released when Finland's final blocker comes out of the box. And it works well out for them. Lead jammer, Finland. But it's gonna send number 121, Lee Sasari, to the box. And number 10, Catastrophe, calls off the jam. So there was a major elbow Penalty at the end there called on number eight, Pink Spanker. 
So Finland with two blockers in the box. Definite advantage for Team Ireland right now. And we have an official timeout. Thanks so much for you for watching all over the world here on DNN. There's actually, I haven't seen the numbers lately, but uh, there are, I, I'm comfortable in saying there are tens of thousands of you watching in the 13 countries that uh, these teams come from, and I'm sure many, many more. DNN is happy to bring you roller derby from around the world. And all they ask is that you occasionally contribute. Just hit that contribute button on the DNN homepage, and they can continue to bring on some hot streaming roller derby action from all over this planet. The floor here is polished concrete, similar to what they have in Denver at the uh, First Bank Center, at, uh, in St. Paul at the Roy Wilkins Auditorium. Gemerald, number 16 for Team Ireland. Who is your lead jammer? And cutting through, going around, cut to the inside, and then cuts around out. Picks up the Grand Slam for five points for Ireland. Ireland back up and scoring again. Another pass and another Grand Slam. Another five points for Ireland, and they're really turning this around really quickly here. Oh, and another pass. Brings it down to a one-point game, 26 to 25 right now. One more pass, and we're going to have a lead change. And there we do. Lead change. We are at 30 for Ireland. Hippie strong stocking being sent to the box for Ireland. And after picking up an additional four, Ireland takes the lead 34 to 26. 16 minutes, 24 seconds, and we have a timeout. This has just been a hell of a weekend so far. Tons of great games, tons of great teams from all over the world here. And there have been actually, you know, there have been quite a few blowouts, but there's there's actually, even in the blowouts, there has been a lot of really, really quality skating going on, even from the teams that are losing by lots and lots of points. And you know, in the part of the tournament where every point counts towards your ranking at the end of the, uh, at the end of the event, you're, you're gonna see blowouts like that. You can't go easy on it when you could have three teams that are 2-0 and oh by the end of the weekend, and then it's going to go to the points. Every single point is going to count. Yeah, teams like uh, Canada and the U.S. and uh, France have been just kind of running, uh, or in Australia as well, have been uh, running up scores, but they really need those because they want to get in those coveted top three slots because those three slots have a bye. They don't have to play until later tomorrow. Zola gets a bit knocked out there, but gets right back in. Grabs it, grabs Lee Jammer. A juicy butter for Finland has now gotten through and is on her scoring pass. But not before Ireland calls it off. 
picking up an additional four points, bringing it to 38. I'm sorry, 42. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight is correct. Have to excuse us, folks. These scoreboards are uh, directly behind us and off to the side in a weird angle. So, all right, number ten for Finland, Jim now Kat catastrophe up against Jessica Ramit in the green for Ireland, and catastrophe has taken it. Catastrophe is the lead jammer for Team Finland. And Finland's box is getting a lot of use. Once again, with two blockers in the box for Team Finland. Into that jam after picking up two points for Finland. 38-28, it's a 10-point game. 14 minutes, 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Row Jane, jamming now for Ireland. Up against number three, Ure. Ure. I hope I got that one right. Hopefully, folks in the message board can tell me. Ure dangling at the back of the pack, and that's allows Crow Jane to get on through. Ireland, Lee Jammer. But in doing so, LD50 for Ireland. Kim Hazard is off to the box. Ireland picks up an additional three points. Finland with two, so it is an 11-point game still. Ireland 41, Finland 30. Gemerald for Ireland again. Up against Catastrophe for Finland. Let's see for those of you watching at home, Finland is in the ice color. <laughs> Outfits, outfits, uniforms. They are silver and blue. Ireland is in the traditional Irish green. And Ireland is in the traditional Irish lead jammer position. Catastrophe getting pushed out at the back there. Having to re-enter. Cuts through the inside and gets through. Can now start scoring points. But Gemerald gets on through. Picks up four to add to Ireland's lead. Jamming for Team Ireland right now against number 94 for Team Finland, Trixie Grandbang. <coughs> Finland takes a knee as the blizzard heads out front. To create an impact situation, allowing Finland's jammer, Trixie Grandbang, to get through and get lead jammer status before she even gets out of turn one. She's going to get her scoring pass by in, back into turn two. Oh, and Ireland has now lost. Ireland with a minor track cut penalty. Ireland has lost their jammer to the fourth minor. So Finland does have a power jam situation for the next minute. Finland picks up four. And they're going to start here with number 22, Juicy Butter, as their only jammer, as the only jammer out on the track. Ireland has a full complement of blockers with their jammer in the box for just about 55, 50, 55 seconds. 
Kind of a wide ribbon start here. Juicy Butter going up and down the line. One more Ireland blocker to go. Wiley has to let her through. And Lee Jammer, Finland. Grand Slam, Finland. Number 22, Juicy Butter. Picking up another five, and then a timeout called by Team Ireland. The footage that you're watching here tonight on DNN is brought to you by Hinkley Productions. DVDs of each and every bout available online at RollerDerbyWorldCup.com. If you'd like to relive the magic, as they would say, you can check out RollerDerbyWorldCup.com. You can buy a single out or you can buy the entire tournament. Finland contingent here over in turn one. And really, when you have to cross an ocean to get to a tournament, I'd say anything over uh, four or five is a good sized contingent. But we've been really impressed with all of the uh, tons of skaters and tons of uh, just fans, family members that have made the trek hundreds and thousands of miles, tens of thousands of miles in the case of the Australians and New Zealanders to come here to Toronto to check out the Roller Derby World Cup, the first ever Roller Derby World Cup Cat catastrophe for Finland. Your lead jammer and beginning her, her first scoring pass. And a little one-two push there by number 27 for Ireland. Sinister Mary Clarence and number 1,000 Canadian Psycho. A little, not really big hits, but just a one-two punch which was enough to knock her out. Lower down, make it a little more difficult for her. Holds her to three points that last gen. So, Finland has now retaken the lead, 47-45. Just under nine minutes to go in this first half. And the rankings really have, uh, seem to be uh, working out now. Ireland ranked number seven, Finland number 10, very close. And if, the, uh, if it works out well for the, uh, for the rest of them, we're going to see a bunch of close games here. And Lee Jammer, Finland. That's number 84. Or, excuse me, 94, Fr Fritzy Ganbang. And she got a major back block, so she's heading to the box. Violin Bob, bench coach of Ireland, gets very excited there, motioning her his player to just keep on keeping on, skate on through, pull on the speed, and she does. Picks up five points for Ireland to retake the lead. Another scoring pass coming through, Zola. Oh, nice big hit by number 99, Suvi Hokari. Ends up pushing her way, way back. Of course, she realized that it was number 404, Doris, that actually pushed her back, pushed her out. And she didn't have to skate as far back as she did. Gets through, gets another five points. Five points, Ireland. Trixie Grandbank standing. Trixie Grandbank entering at the back of the pack. Cuts around the outside, gets on through. Picks up quick, quick four points.
Zola's still working here. Still trying to get a few more. Gets past number 99, calls it off. Does not call it off. Looks like there was an illegal procedure called. Perhaps they have decided against that. For folks watching, you can see these uh, large pillars that uh, kind of get in the way of the way that uh, folks are able to see all the action on the track. And the ref calls. And number 22 for Finland. That's Juicy Butter, and she is your lead jammer. Followed closely on by Gemerald. Juicy Butter coming up in the back of the pack. Cuts around Psycho, gets, calls it off. And gets none. Denied. Got to the fourth whistle before she passed that rear skater. Jessica Ramit skating for Ireland right now. Up against number 10 for Finland, Catastrophe. Ireland in the shiny green. Finland in the silver and blue. Ramit and Catastrophe pushing each other back as well as the blockers were working, out of, working them out. Like Finland comes out on top there. Number 10, Catastrophe, the lead jammer, Jessica Ramit, about a half track behind. Really pushing her, putting her foot on the gas right now, trying to get up there. And that'll be the end of that after picking up an additional four points for Finland. So the score with Four minutes, 19 seconds remaining in this first half. Team Ireland 57, Team Finland 55. And we have a timeout called by Team Ireland. We would like to thank everyone here in Toronto at Toronto Roller Derby for helping to put on a great tournament. As the hosts of the first ever Blood and Thunder Roller Derby World Cup. And with the uh, interest and excitement and participation that we've seen, it's certainly not the last. We've had games going on since yesterday afternoon, well into the evening. And uh, folks have been here since about 8 this morning getting set up. And then the first game was at uh, 9.30 Eastern time. This is the last game of the evening, 13 games later. Begin again, number 94, Trixie Grandbang. We'll be jamming for Finland up against number R666, Crow Jane. Very interesting notice about the uh, team Finland here. A lot fewer different leagues that they're coming from. Mostly Helsinki. She's from Kahlo. Bristol, Dirty River, Prime City. The lead jammer, number 94, Trixie Grandbang. As opposed to Ireland, who uh, have put a, quite a good swath across, not just Ireland, but the United Kingdom. Skaters from uh, Glasgow, from Birmingham. London, as well as Port City, Dublin, Dolly Rocket Rollers. 
And these younger teams, these newer teams from smaller countries, do have the advantage that they are from a lot of smaller leagues and the countries being smaller themselves, they get to get together and practice a lot more, a lot more easily than, country, than larger countries like the US, like Canada, Australia. And this is a second timeout. If one timeout isn't good enough for you folks at home. We'll give you two for the price of one, the price of admission. Can't say as a uh, as a coach that I would. Uh, I would do much different than uh, being absolutely sure, especially on a game that's this, this close, just two points separate these two teams. Ireland currently with a lead, 60 to 58 for Finland. Just over three minutes remaining in this first half. I want to make sure that the, all the points are correct, that all the penalties are correct. Head refs come over to the statisticians table. We want to make sure that everything is on the up and up. And we get thumbs up from both coaches. Everybody's happy. And the crowd is happy as we start to play again. No pack, so if we start, Jimmerl goes, takes the early jump, and I think she actually got that lead jammer status before she even passed the pivot line. between turns three and four. Then Catastrophe has made it through for Team Finland. Chamberlain's gonna try and get all the way to the front. But she gets knocked down, calls it off, picks up four points for Team Ireland. Team Ireland is over in turn three, exactly opposite from Team Finland. Uh, cheering contingents and uh, the stoic Finns are very silent <laughs> when they are not in uh, possession of that lead jammer status but when they are they are going wild catastrophe again in for team Finland as their jammer but Oh, and she takes it. She does take Lee Jammer. Jessica Ramit is out in front, but it's not your Lee Jammer. She did pass one player out of play. Oh, huge, huge hit by Sinister Mary Clarence on number 54, the Blizzard. And Ireland with a major back lock on their, block, their pivot, the, pardon me, their jammer, Jessica Ramit. So Finland's gonna start with another power jam. And that's gonna be number 94, Trixie Grandbang. around the outside, but then Wiley with a quick jump over to the right, just misses. Trixie Grandbang is your lead jammer. Bit of confusion over there in turn two. Iron bleeding players. Number 37, Kitty Kadammer. And Chemical Hazard. Kim Kilhazard, both heading to the box. We have a minivan situation in Finland's favor. But Ireland, with just two blockers out there, managed to stop the forward momentum of the Finnish jammer. 
Forcing her to slow down, try again. She gets through for five, but then calls it off. And they're gonna have, they're gonna begin another jam here. Oh, pardon me, no, we are at the half. Pardon me, ladies and gentlemen. So at the half, the score as it stands, just three points. These teams have been back and forth this entire game so far. Finland currently leads by three. 70 to Ireland's 67. We'll be back in just over nine minutes to bring you the second half of the final game of the evening. Live on the Derby News Network and Justin.tv.
Yes, sir. And uh, what do we have here? What do we have here? I said, what do we have here? Okay. I could have been blowing it, but... Okay. So I think... Okay, folks, we are back here. Game 13, day two, Blood and Thunder Roller Derby World Cup. Team Finland is in the lead by three with 70 over Ireland's 67. This has been a back and forth game this entire first 30 minutes. Fin Finland really taking advantage of a lot of Ireland's penalty trouble. Ireland showing a lot of speed out there. And with just 10 seconds left in halftime, we've gone through the equipment checks and we are ready to buy, just about ready to head out again. Over on the other uh, the other track here, two teams that have played earlier today, France and Brazil, are playing again now with full 30-minute halves. This time Brazil doing much better. Last time I saw it was about uh, 182 for France to Brazil's 100. Uh, in the prior game Brazil had held. I'm sorry, France had held Brazil to quite a, less than half that number over the course of the uh, game.
30 minutes are back on the clock. And it looks like Ireland is actually going through some, a little more last minute equipment checks here. We had some issue with uh, something backstage and uh, your bench coach has come out and everything's all right. And they are ready to retake the track. Team Ireland's fans are very ready for them to retake the track. And here we go. Number 10 for Finland. Catastrophe is going to start in the power jam slot. Number three, Ure, is going to take her intentional fourth minor. Head to the box. They're going to want her to jam real soon. Jessica Ramit is standing. So she has less than 10 seconds remaining in her penalty minutes. Two other Ireland blockers are in the box, however. And Jessica Ramit enters, but not before Catastrophe has made it through and becomes your lead jammer. Jessica Ramit stuck to the back, cutting through, and eventually, oh, nice, nice hit. She goes right into the Ireland cheering section. And Catastrophe takes a bit of a tumble there, courtesy of the Crow. But Crow cuts around, picks up that grand slam. Five big points for Team Finland. <laughs> Jessica Ramit has made it through. She is now on her first scoring pass. Catastrophe comes on through, calls it off just as Team Ireland's blockers exit the box. So Team Ireland is back up to full strength. Team Finland with one blocker in the box right now. That's number three, Ure, who you'll be seeing with the star cover on her helmet very soon. Number 94, Trixie Grandbang now jamming for Team Finland up against Gemerald. Phantom Gemerald. Gemerald trying to sneak around inside. Gets caught up on that three wall up front by Finland with four skaters in the back holding back Trixie Grandbank. There's no loose left. So cutting through, Gemerald is your lead jammer. And holding her back is going to send 29.97 to the box. That's Estragina Davis. Gemerald cuts through, picks up a quick five and calls it off. Finland picks up none that time. 28 minutes remaining in this game. Finland 79, Ireland 72. Jamming for Ireland is Zola, number 67 in the shiny green. Up against number 10, Catastrophe for Finland in the silver and blue. And pretty quickly, Zola is actually called off for a major track cut. So she's going to spend in the minute in the box. So Finland's jammer is going to be in the power jam position. Catastrophe just getting back Wiley at the front of the pack. Wiley doing an excellent, excellent job of holding her back all on her lonesome. Until we can, Ireland can recycle, get another player up front. Russian Baron comes up, not in time. Catastrophe's through, and she's on her scoring pass. Gets caught up a bit, but makes it through. Picks up the big five points. Grand slam for Team Finland. As Ireland's penalty trouble continues, now with Kemkill Hazard heading to the box, Doris going to the box for Team Finland. And at the end, Finland picked up another five, Ireland zero. 
Zola is standing. Zola is ready to re enter for Team Ireland. Violent Bob, bench coach for Team Ireland, is out having a little discussion with the refs in the center of the track. Whistle blows, and there we go. Number three, Ure, jamming for Finland. Gets pushed out, comes back in behind Sinister. Zola cuts through out of the box, and the crowd is going nuts here. Zola just jumps out of the box and becomes Lee Jammer. Great, great move by Zola. Zola lead jammer status coming in on her first scoring pass here. Around the outside, around the outside, it picks up a grand slam for Team Ireland. Ure with some great, great speed and agility on her has not been having a lucky time this time around with that Ireland block fly. Sinister Mary Clarence hits the box for Team Ireland. Each team with three blockers on the track right now. Nice. Nice quick move by the Blizzard. An attempt to knock Zola out, but Zola is able to remain on her skates and remain inside the lines and stay in. And we have an official timeout officially called by the officials to officially discuss something official. Once again, these officials, the non-skating officials and the skating referees making sure that they have all of those penalties, all of those points, everything 100% correct. In a game this close, you want to make absolutely sure, certain that everything is on point. Violent Bob has come in to talk to Jessica Ramit. Don't forget also check out DNN for footage brought to you by Hinkley Productions. DVDs of every bout available online at rollerderbyworldcup.com. And that was uh, rejoining us, of course, Big Papa Rossi from the Detroit Derby Girls. After some technical difficulties, we have him uh, back and better than ever as Big Papa Rossi. That's right, and we're here with all the action. Ireland versus Finland, 81 to 89. Right now, Finland in the lead. One heck of a game. And time is beginning again. Number 94, Trixie Grandbank jamming for Team Finland up against Jessica Ramit for Team Ireland. Team uh, less than three or hard or whatever you want to call it. Finland's last blocker back in the scrum of it. Finland with a one blocker advantage, but Jessica Ramit pays it no mind as Jessica Ramit is your lead jammer for Team Ireland. Jessica Ramit about to begin her initial scoring pass here. Followed very closely behind by Trixie Grandbang. That roller derby strategy, Finland getting up front, trying to stay away from the opposing jammer. If they can't catch her, they can't score. And that's the end of that jam. Ireland zero, Finland zero. Scores remain the same. Finland 89, Ireland 81. 23 minutes remaining in this game. And here's what we knew was going to happen as the tournament went on. We've got closer and closer games coming along. Eight point game right now between these two teams. 
Bantam Gemwell coming out number 16 for Ireland up against number 22. Gemwell makes it through that big ocean of silver and blue and becomes lead jammer, Team Ireland. Juicy Butler still stuck in the pack. Gets knocked out of bounds on the ground. Gets back up faster than she went down. Number 24, Rush in coming in with that knockdown. The Russian Baron has been doing some great, great hitting there. Knocking her way around. The Finland Jammer is actually ending up in the box. Number 22, Juicy Butter. So this is an Ireland power jam. As Jimmel picks up another five points. That puts Ireland at 86, Finland at 89. A three-point game cut down just that quick. And Jimmel's kind of cut around. Cuts around number eight, Pink Spanker. Picks up the five, and that, just like that, Ireland retakes the lead, 91-89. Gemerald on her, another scoring pass, here she comes. Still a three-point game this oh, one the other way. Making it look easy, whoa, but not before she runs into only, only follows her as far as she could go before having to let her go. Picks up another five points, bringing her up to 96. And calls it off. So great move by Ireland, bringing it back in. The Irish fans are smiling over there in turn three. That's very, right. very happy. A triple grand slam later, and now Ireland's got the lead, 96-89, seven point game. Just under 21 minutes left in this game in the second half. Russian roulette. Udra, Udra, Ireland. Udra number three coming out for Finland. Udra makes it. Udra is your lead jammer. For Team Finland. Man, this has just been going back and forth and back and forth this entire time. Oh, it looks like that's her fourth minor with a track cut, minor track cut, and that's gonna send Russian Roulette to the box, allowing Team Finland to just keep on keeping on. They're gonna try and retake the lead here, just two points behind right now. Udre comes to the back of the pack, is caught up, and gets just past Holly, who knocks her down, but calls it off. But that is gonna be enough with five points, and Finland has retaken the lead 99-96, just under 20 minutes remaining in this game. Again, a three-point game. We keep going back to it, but that's how close this one is. It's back and forth, but it's staying close. A triple grand slam gave Ireland the lead. A double grand slam gives Finland the lead. And now Finland answering with number 10, Catastrophe. Catastrophe, definitely one of Finland's main jammers. And we do have another timeout. Bench coaches for both teams. Out having a having a few words with the roughing crew. Once again, for those of you watching at home or at your local eating or drinking establishment. You're watching on DNN, DerbyNewsNetwork.com. Bring you roller derby on demand and without apology from all over this roller derby world. Thank you so much for your support. And we'll be back to the action in just a few moments. And we're actually, <laughs> we're seeing something that, that I haven't seen in a very long time. Now, my parents are from northern Minnesota, and the Swedes and the Finns did not get along that well. But Team Sweden here is in turn four, and they are cheering very loudly for Team Finland. Number 10 for Team Finland. That's Catastrophe. She's on the power jam. And 
gets Lee Jammer status almost instantaneously. Russian gets back on in. Russian in. Right now that pack three on three. Looked like Chemical Hazard was having a little problem with her skates, but it looks like everything's okay right now. Five big roller derby points for Team Finland. Number 10, Catastrophe. That's going to push Finland over the century mark, 104. And another pass brings another five, 109. One more pass through. Picks up another five, bringing them up to 114. And just like that, an 18-point game. Just seconds before that jam ended, Ireland got their jammer back, so they'll be starting this next jam with a jammer on the floor. But they're down two blockers, one of which is at standing attention, which means she's got less than 10 seconds. Finland down a blocker who's also standing in the penalty box. Number 94, Trixie Grand Bang and jamming for Team Finland up against the Gemerald. Number 16 for Team Ireland. Oh, Trixie gets around. Gemerald thought she had it. She was most of the way through, going through the center. But Trixie goes around the outside, outside lane, and picks up Lee Jim. Gemerald was stuck there for a few seconds longer, even behind that. Trixie calls it off after picking up four points. Three points, pardon me, three points for Finland. It's a 21-point game now. Finland's starting to run away just a little bit with this, but it's it's based off of penalties. A few power jams will do that for you, added with a few grand slams, and you've got yourself a getting the lead sandwich. Number 67 coming out for Ireland, Bloody Zola. Zola Bloodji skating against Ure for Finland. And Zola Blood takes it. Zola Blood to lead jammer for Team Ireland. Zola Blood, another one of Ireland's main jammers, been jamming up all day long. This is not by any chance of the means these teams' first game today. Oh, pushing her all the way back. With an excellent jammer, jammer takeout there. Skates way, way too far back. And she ended up taking the minor and coming back on the track. Said, I don't want to go halfway around to re-enter. I'd rather take that minor. She's able to get through, get a couple more points, call off the jam. Three points for Ireland. That brings Ireland up to 99, Finland 117. And the final score of the France-Brazil game seems to be France 212, Brazil 138. So really, Brazil really, really improved. I don't know what they uh, what they did on their time off between the last time these two these two games these two teams fought earlier today. But Brazil really turned on the power, took them out. So everybody from that half of the arena has now come over to this half of the arena. The last game that's going on right now, the last game of the evening. So it is getting pretty loud over here. Out there on the jammer line for Finland, number 10, Catastrophe. And for Ireland, number R666, Pro Jane. And they are released. Slow start for the jammers, but they're into the pack before turn two. And We've got a lead jammer before they come out of the turn. Up on one out inside skate. And she comes through. Oh, goes out and calls it. Oh. Finland, 119. Ireland is now past the century mark. Ireland is at 103, 1433 remaining. It's 
Seems we've got a discussion between the referees and Finland. I think they're discussing the chance that it might have been a late call off. But once again, you got to back the refs on this one. If they don't see it, they can't call it. Yeah, it was on the far side here, actually behind a behind a pillar. I thought I saw the motion, and it looks like the uh, the finish uh, the Finnish bench here also thought they saw that motion beginning. But the refs much closer to the action over there, and the refs did not see her call it off when she went out when she went down. I'll tell you, as, as a manager and coach myself, uh, and my home teams, you're not going to get a, a, a reversal on that. They're not going to reverse the call on that. Number 69, Pippi out there for Ireland. She's got lead jammer. And already on a scoring pass, gets knocked out of bounds, comes back in, goes for the call off. She picks up two. Finland picks up two as well. 2-2 two -two jam. Rasheen Roulette, to be exact, for Team Ireland. Team Ireland, of course, in the shiny green. Team Finland in the silver and blue. And it has begun. Sufi Hokari slows it down. And she's going to be the last Finn to cross the track. <laughs> Holly Sheet has actually tapped her forward, making her cross the pivot line. Oh, it was a horse race, but Team Ireland comes out on top. Russian Roulette, Lee Jammer. But Ure is right up there with her. And Ure has turned into a totally defensive jammer here. Not going to let Bush Roulette do anything. You know, that was really close on which one got out of there first. But again, it's hips past hips that counts for getting out of the pack and getting lead jam. Once number, number 10, Catastrophe jamming for Team Finland. Up against Zola Blood at number 67 for Team Ireland. Team Finland 121, Team Ireland 105. Both teams have two timeouts remaining. Team yeah. Ireland takes it. Zola Blood, number 67. It's amazing to see them get lead jam before they even get out of turn one. Esther Tina Davis joins two Team Ireland blockers in the box. Team Finland with a blocker advantage right now. Oh, and it looked like the call off. Four points, three points for Ireland. And she got it in time. It looks like no points for Finland. That's okay. They'll give him an elbow penalty. That's good enough, right? Why not? Close enough. Same thing. 121 Finland, Ireland 108. 11-14 remaining. Roulette coming out again for Ireland up against number 94 of Finland, Trixie Gringbing. And yes, the jam has started, oh, say 20 seconds ago.
Ireland. Violent Bob, the rather animated bench coach for Team Ireland. Originally, Ireland placed three blockers out on the track, but they have two in the penalty box, so one was waved back to the bench. Quick response by our outside back row. And we begin the game. The score right now, 121 to 108. Finland in the lead. 10 minutes, 44 seconds left in the second half. Trixie Grandbang lining up behind Roshan Roulette. Looking for an open slot, looking for any move she can make to get through. Just jockeying for the perfect position when their skaters actually start. And once again, the chance of skate, skate, skate have begun. Blockers refilling in. Very carefully coming into the pack to make sure to come in behind it. Ireland's at two blockers, Finland's at four. Finland's at their full contingent, full strength. Finland chatting back and forth, talking about what they're gonna do. Timmy comes back in for Team Ireland. Now that would have been the point that personally I would have wanted to start the jam. Exactly. Take three for a knee, send one forward, get that early start. Let the jammers out of the gates. But they're still waiting on the track. And some very loud boos coming through here, here in the bunker. The crowd is not liking this at all. There is literally 33 seconds left in this jam. Now, Jessica Ramit returns. Both teams are back up to full strength. Nothing's happening. And any goodwill that they have is flying right out the window. 15 seconds left in the jam. There's a huge crowd of some of the best derby skaters in the world that are not happy with this style of play going on here. And that's the end of that jam. Jammers never released 0-0, of course. Nobody got through turn one. And there are, there are not a lot of happy faces here. No points. Just as Feel Good Marshall was so, was so angry about that jam, he actually was trying to jump up out of his seat and his chair just flew back. People have done that, the jam that never <laughs> was. Of course, there's a lot of those that we've seen now. So they should be jams that never were. Two minutes back on the jam clock, new jam begins. And this time the jammers are released. Riley causing kind of a, whoa, big, huge crew up there. Big, huge crowd from the crowd. Russian roulette to lead jammer for Team Ireland. Psycho takes it, knocks out Ure. Russian roulette coming up on the back of the pack. Passing Misty Muffdiva. Gets through. Four points for Russian roulette who calls it off. And Ure heads out. Sign a few autographs in the front row, let's say. Pivot for Ireland. Wiley sent to the penalty box for a legal procedure. So, Ireland now with two blockers in the box once again. Finland says they're not making this mistake again. They take to a knee and early start the jammers right away while they have the advantage of blockers. A great job of pushing out Catastrophe into the inside. But she busts through, becomes your lead jammer. Pro Jane gets, takes her trip to the box. 
So we're in the middle of a power jam now for Finland. It's Crow Jane, the jammer for Ireland, heads to the sin bin. Major forearm there. Catastrophe. Getting caught in a mosh. Gets past Gemerald and picks up five. 26, 126 for Finland. Finland Six now minutes remaining. Stretching that lead out with just a few precious minutes left. Catastrophe heads out, slides down. Picks up five. Adding to Finland's lead. Double and Ireland Finland. just keeps on hemorrhaging players. Losing blocker after blocker to the box. There's no room at the end. Oh, I take that back. There was one slot open. So Team Finland's in a minivan situation. They're in charge. And what's worse than a minivan? She calls it off at the end just as Crow gets back in. Wiley, the pivot for Ireland, was sent to the penalty box again right at the end of that jam but she's gonna be in waiting as the penalty box already has two blockers for Ireland in it. As soon as one of those seats clear, the refs are gonna have Wiley go take one of them up. Canadian Psycho and Wiley, the only blockers out there for Team Ireland right now. Gemerald helping out, helping wedge out number 94, Trixie Granbang. But Trixie ends up taking it. And we're doing a little recycling here. As the Ireland pivot heads to the box. After a slot opens, Gemerald has made it through in her initial pass and can now start scoring. That jammer Wiley was in waiting. She picked up that penalty and sending her to the box in the last jam, but the box was full. She had to wait till it cleared out. Trixie picks up another three. So Finland now at 139, Ireland 112. Just under four minutes remaining. And this is certainly not out of uh, not out of reach yet for Ireland. They've done uh, some amazing comebacks in this game so far. It's been very, very close. This may be the largest point differential of this entire game, 27 points. <laughs> Coming out for Ireland, number 67, Zola Blood. Up against Ure for Team Finland. And the entire crowd admonishing the pack to just keep skating to skate forward. Jammers are released. Oh, and it looked like it might have been lead jam for Ireland, but it's not. It's a major cut. Zola Blood, number 67, jammer for Ireland. Going to go to the sin bin, heading straight to the box to a power jam for Finland. But passes before she even is even aware of the infraction. She went two-thirds of the way around the track before she became aware that she was being sent off. By that time, she had already passed the point of no return, had to skate around again. A lot of time wasted there for by Team Ireland. Udre got out of the pack, got lead jam, called it off, so we've got a fresh power jam for Finland. And who are they going to send out again? Number 10, Catastrophe. Catastrophe jamming darn near every other jam for Finland at this point. All right, in this power jam here, number 10, Catastrophe for Team Finland. Team Finland at full strength. No, Team Finland's down by one blocker. Team Ireland at full blocking strength. Ireland putting up that four-woman wall right on the jammer line, and it is being effective, keeping Catastrophe back. Now she looks for an inside, takes to the middle, finds two waiting for her. Oh! Looks like she gets him out past 20 feet, pulls a penalty on a blocker, and takes lead jam. That was a tough one, just trying to claw her way through. At one point, kind of stepping around, almost a uh, a Michael Jackson-like maneuver there, 
picking up one leg, pushing it forward or around. Rather than doing the apex jump, she just kind of stepped around in kind of a, a, oh, that was very, I'm not that flexible. Once again, pivot Wiley Peyote for Ireland, taking his seat in the penalty box. Meanwhile, Zola Blood, the jammer for Ireland, is standing at attention, which means she's got less than 10 seconds before she comes back on the track. And we have a timeout called by Team Ireland. Team Ireland, now there are one, there's one minute, three seconds remaining in this game, and they are behind by 32 points. So a perfect time. If they're, if they're wanting to make something magic happen, now's the time. Now's the time to take that timeout, kind of rest up, and kind of just get calm again. Come up with a game plan. So you folks know at home, we're back to 30 minute periods, which means both teams are back to three timeouts per game in one official review. Trixie Grainbang coming out for Finland. Putting the star on the helmet and the toe stops on the concrete. Zola is standing up. Less than 10 seconds remaining in her penalty. And whistle blows and Jammer's released. Oh, and she has cut through, gets lead Jammer status. And if she can just hold on to this for the on next minute, and not uh, and not do anything that's going to send her to the box. Unreal. Not sure if I've ever seen it before. She actually got lead jammer before the pack got to the pivot line. That's actually happened when you were gone a few minutes. <laughs> the early half of this game, some very very high speed maneuvers here. And now Zola jammer for Ireland is out of the pack. She's on her way to her first scoring pass. 21, 20, 20 seconds remaining in this jam. Zola finds a wide open in this game. Gets through. And looks like she did call it off. So Ireland, of course, jumps on that and uses their last penalty. Oh my goodness. That's right, Ireland called their last time out with eight seconds left. So it's now 116, 148, Finland still leading it. But we've got eight seconds left on the clock. We're gonna get one more jam. Man, that just shows why clock management is so important, why watching that clock, why there are these huge clocks, multiple areas in the arena so the jammers can see just how much time is left. And it's so very important to just be aware of every, all this information that's coming at you. Phantom Gemerald coming out to the jammer line for Ireland up against number three, Udre. Looks like 11 seconds were put back on the clock or 11 seconds total was eight. They added three more, I'm sorry, three more seconds to the clock to make it 11. Wiley is standing. Oh, but she's just been assessed. Illegal procedure. For standing early, it looks. So, Team Finland down by one blocker. That's very lucky for them, otherwise they would have been down by two if Wiley hadn't stood early. It's now after two timeouts to stop the clock. And Ireland takes it. Ireland takes Lee Jammer. That's Gemerald, number 16 in the green. Another timeout's not gonna stop this clock. The period, the period clock has hit zero. There's a minute 30 left in the jam. Udre moves to a fully defensive jamming position, trying to slow her down, but cannot. And Gemerald makes it through. Picks up the grand slam. Gemerald, five points Ireland. The blue 
Blizzard sent to the box to end this game in the box. Jimmerl making another scoring pass, makes it through, another grand slam. Ireland, Ure turning around. She's gonna engage Jimmerl as she comes around between turns three and four. Hits the straightaway. 56 seconds left on the jam clock, 126, 148, the score is now. Blizzard back in, Wiley back in, both these teams back up to full strength. 47 seconds remain in the jam. Jemmerl finds herself up front in a two-on-one situation. Two-woman wall holding her back. Jemmerl behind three. Jemmerl behind three, now behind four. Finland totally recycled the front of their pack. Canadian cycle number 1,000 for Ireland is sent to the penalty box. Jemmerl makes it out, another five points. This crowd is on its feet. And that, this is the loudest I have heard. She's going through one more time. All right, and that is it. Finland holds off a final attack by Ireland. And looks like the final score, Finland 1-4-8, Ireland 1-3-4. And just an amazing end of that, to this game that had been going back and forth the entire bout. But Ireland really, really took advantage of that mistake made by Finland at the end there. Call it, you know, paying attention, calling that final timeout, taking advantage of that, and coming up very, very close. But Finland, which was ranked 10th uh, going into this, has upset number seven, Ireland. So they are going on into more games tomorrow. They are going to take on uh, Team Canada tomorrow in the quarterfinal round, the number two ranked Team Canada. Team Finland now taking their victory lap around the track. Again, two timeouts by Ireland right there at the last moments to try and get back into this game and get back into it, they did. And that game is gonna take place tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. Team Canada versus Team Finland. But wow, we've had a great two days so far. We got two days left to go. So please join us tomorrow morning, beginning at 9.30 a.m. And remember, Eastern time. Remember, if you want to keep these games forever, check out DNN. The footage brought to you by Hinkley Productions. There's DVDs of every bout available online at rollerderbyworldcup.com. And thanks to all of you watching on Justin.tv, watching via derbynewsnetwork.com. If you like this footage that you're getting from Derby News Network, please go to the Contribute button and support that site, bringing you all the greatest roller derby from around the world. Remember, tomorrow morning, Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. in the Eastern Time Zone. So, from Toronto, Ontario, and for the Roller Derby World Cup, I'm John Maddening. With me is Big Paparazzi. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you, and good night. Drive safely.